my little humble self was given an opportunity to speak. But before then, I want you to listen to Dr. Law Mefor. What he said bears it all. Just listen carefully. <laughs> um, you can't get that for honey. You can't get that for You can't get We have our property. How about you then? I salute you. The uh, IBOB High Command, I salute you all. My colleagues and friends uh, in the press, right? I'm also a journalist. I thank you. I will just say briefly one thing. I am today a witness to history that this consummation of a prayer so many of us have said for the IPOB family to reenact its uh, unity has happened. I can be a I didn't read it in the media. I didn't uh, get to hear it from any secondary source. I am seeing it. I am witnessing it. That is why I said that I am a witness to history. Somehow, I'm in touch with uh, the evil political elite, generally. And they are seriously worried about the unity of especially the IPOP family. Because that is where the Biafra agitation is now. We do not disregard other um, forces, other, uh, other groups that have brought their own contributions to the table. But we believe that where the issue is today is brought there, brought to bear by the IPOP family. And their unity is of utmost importance. So I thank God that it has, it has happened and it is our prayer that the, the promises the two eminent leaders of the IPOC family have expressed before us today, before the media, that they will carry it to a logical conclusion. What uh, I will promise uh, the two of you and um, the entire IPOC uh, family here is that we will do all we can out there in the political circles to ensure that you are properly represented. We did our little best to be sure that even the, uh, the, the, the perception and the aggression that we have you know, witnessed in the hands of uh, the Nigerian uh, government it will some, somehow be dated and we shall continue to do so. Number two, I also think it's important that we tell you our thinking out there is that the Afra agitation must continue unabated. That is number one. But the people should also allow us to keep uh, finding political land solutions, right? Uh, it's very important. We are seeking political land solutions. We are all Biafrans. Any evil man that tells you that he's not a Biafran, you better question his paternity. I'm very serious about it. Every evil man is a Biafran. Or woman. You know, or woman. When I say man, it's, so it's a fact. We are all Biafran. When say man, so, it means woman. Yes. Yeah, so we, we we are talking about the, the, the fact that we all are in this together. You should continue to count on us. And uh, if there are things you want us to do specifically, please call on us. You know, I represent so many, you know, so many people. And you can be sure that, now, like the boys will say, Ozi is the Amuloko, the Lueni Baga. I assure you that the Igbo political elites are 100% with you. We have discordant tones here and there whether we should have a, a territorial Biafra or whether we should have a restructured Nigeria. That is a story for another day. But we shouldn't be the ones to be talking about that. As far as we are concerned, Biafra, you know, restructured Nigeria is good, but Biafra is better. I don't know if you got what I say. Restructured Nigeria is good, but Biafra is better. That is where we are. 
So it is not for us to push restructuring. If they think that restructuring can take the wind off the sail of the agitation for Biafra, let them bring it on. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, the ball is back in their court. So whatever they want, however they want it, I know that the irreducible minimum, however they want it, if they want restructured Nigeria, if it is good enough, we'll see how good it is. If they don't want that, then Biafra becomes more and more inevitable. On that note, I want to rest my case. Thank you very much. Dr. Biafra. I salute you, sir. I salute you, sir. Thank you. Then, wow. Some of you might actually have some objections. Some of you have your own reservation with the process. Just like Dr. Law before stated. But the truth of the matter is that the Biafran family we are leaving no stone unturned. Like I said earlier, my humble self was given an opportunity to address the meeting. And it starts this way. Oh, we are from. I can No, no. No, you. I can never have you there. I'll call you by name. No one. Where you started? I know. The very first person that brought me to this. The very first person that I met one and one. You see, at West London. So, what thing happened after that day? After you embraced me, you transferred some fire. I can't be a bra. You are now a load of gun. Okay. You transferred some fire. Mm -hmm. And you told me one thing when we stared at the jail, that you don't start going forward and tomorrow you start stepping a one step backward. And that fire has been burning inside you. Radio Biafra today gave birth to a child, and that child became BVI from the one. When it happened, many people called me, said all manner of things, even when we have some problems or the other. Say, how can we bring Radio Biafra down? That BVI is an alternative to bring Radio Biafra down. I told them one thing. We need more, more voice to speak for Biafra. And anyone and any place at Ankata to conspire anything against Bia uh, Radio Biafra, I will frustrate it. Because Radio Biafra is an institution of Biafra people. And that's the And BVI said of what? I've continued. I will never relent. I will continue to inform the people. And I also say another thing that our land is due. God has done it. The way it happened, it is not our own making. That we are here today, to be honest with you, my coming back to Nigeria has been fulfilled. If I leave Nigeria today, I will say I have fulfilled my destiny for the Afro to unite our people. Since that September, October 2013, I have always had at the body in my heart that once again our family will be one. And that has happened today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It takes a leader to do what you are doing. It takes a leader. Do you need some people to think that when we come back, it will be little you, a little. But let me tell you. And you know that as well. That this is the beginning of our journey to the Islam. Thank you very much. Thank you. It is not the meeting of only guys, men, and um, the f male folk. One of the most outstanding Biafran women of all time. Many have heard her voice. Rowan like a thunder from a lioness. She is Mwada Ata Biafra Rita Eberechuku Anibog. She bared it all. 
at this point the emotion of feeling is hitting the breaking point what she said moved everyone everyone I mean everyone and I believe that will move you too keep watching Um, I call him Unawanem because he is my brother. I call him Unawanem because he is my boss. I call him Unawanem because he brought me into the Biafra struggle. I call him Unawanem because till I die, he remains my boss. I call you now one day because I cannot run away from you. I call you now one day because I will remain with you until the Afra is restored. I call you now one day because you know how we started. I call you now one day because the way we started, that is the way we are still today. I don't want to look backwards. I am looking forward. Because there were so many things that you told me. And of all the things you told me, Ina, I have never failed in one of them. I stayed. I remained for you to come back and see that I'm still here. And I will remain. I will continue with you until that promise that you gave to me that Biafra must be restored. Until Biafra is restored, I will not be. I will not leave Biafra. <laughs> I am Ada. Ada Biafra. Ada I'm tired of what is happening in Nigeria. He taught me so many things that I did not know that was happening in, in, in Nigeria. He taught me. And those things that he told me, they are still happening. Those things that he saw and he came out, those things are still happening and we are ready for he told me and i remember he said one mama for to us there is no going back it is forward ever backward never. never and that will continue until we restore their friend now they have tried your flesh but your soul is still intact mm. they have tried your flesh but your soul is still intact. And with what you have there, you will restore the Afra. Aka Biafra. You call him your father. I am calling you my father. And he's my grandfather. Aka Biafra. I call my granddaughter. He can't go Biafra. He can't go Biafra. Now, I can't go I can make Josiah. Come and ask him. Be gone. Oh, look at the guy who wrote. No, I can't. Me what a diaphra. Come when the gun. So, me what a diaphra. And I stand here to say again that no boy, no girl, go in diaphra. Can when the house are going to go again. I'm a boy and I get water biafra. I'm a boy, I get water biafra. After me, I got a young biafra na to jail prison. I am a tazia. After me, no more biafra got a young biafra to take a ride off. I am a tazia. Me, how does it go? I'm being joyous here. Can you hear me? You are so gentle, gentle. Come on, my man, make way. Can't move on, we go. But can't move on, we're Biafra, na na Nigeria. My game, we're from Biafra. I'm on the good side, we can't judge our work. We judge our work, we judge our work, we turn our game, my game, go that. All the hard work, we can't do this. Can't get you, we're from Biafra. We will take over our territory, whether the enemies like it or not. We will take over our territory, whether they like it or not. We will take over our territory, whether they like it or not. Let them stay, we will take over our territory, whether they like it or not. We will take over our territory, whether they like it or not. We will take over our territory, whether they like it or not. 
the Supreme Council of Elders have said? They said no. We don't want to hear about that. I said, what do you want to hear? We want to hear Nandi Kalo. <laughs> I said, fine, but if Nandi Kalo is, is one of us, they said no. I should come. I can just swear it in. Uh, taking off food. Is it Iwando? You know, that kind of thing. Oh my God. They keep talking because it's beyond me. I just couldn't understand. <laughs> it. But today, I think um, the air is clear. And I thank God. Now, after their speech, the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Elders, Dr. Dozier Ikedife, thanked the entire House and the meeting, the public meeting was brought to an end. Then, the next is the closed door meeting. The outcome of that closed door meeting, we all have our time to bond like never before. What was said and what was concluded in that indoor meeting which comprises Dr. Dozier Kedifer, Namde Kano, Emmanuel Kano, that's fine boy, the administrator, Engineer Anthony Anyebu, my humble self, Ndibisi Anyenugu, Rita Anibo, and Dr. Law Mefo, was a bomb. I'll only tell you or give you a, an idea of what was concluded in that indoor meeting. But just be on the lookout to see the full manifestation of one force, of one united front of indigenous people of Biafra all over the world. In that meeting, Plans have been concluded to cement and to bond all pro Biafran groups together. The decision is what I will bring to you on the letter date. After the indoor meeting, the grand finale was unveiled. And what could that be? Pictures were taken. But while the pictures were being taken, the entire city of Nairi was adored with what was happening at Dr. Dozier Ikedife's office. Mammoth crowd of Biafrans swayed in from all around the city to catch a glimpse of this great moment as these two great leaders and other Biafran leaders marched out gloriously, came out shoulders to shoulder to greet the timid crowd of Biafrans who have gathered to share them up and catch the viva of the moment.
brother let's go that is it that is my story for today and i will advise you to bank this day put it anywhere save it anywhere write it down in your diary 23rd of june the indigenous people of biafra the two families united as one and this is the beginning of our journey to our promised land the promise of biafra thank you for watching i believe you like our video to get constant updates and notification from bbi channel one please admonish you to subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on all our social media platform and don't forget to visit www.bvichannel1.com I still remain your friend, your one and only, Asus Jeanette Peters, and I love you to the boss. Shalom.